In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the masking process. Many AI tools first require you to select a certain area of the image you wish to change. This process is called masking. Some AI tools, such as Remove or Replace, provide good results with large and quick masks. Other AI tools like Painting provide better results with very accurate masks. The masking step provides several masking tools to make it easier to mask the desired area of the image. Let's go through a real example of removing an object, a couch from this image. The first tool, the Smart Mask, will provide several AI-assisted ways to select commonly masked objects such as walls or cabinets. The Object tool allows you to quickly mask an object in the image. The Expand option controls how much the mask will be expanded around the detected object. This tool makes it quick to describe the area you want to mask by clicking on all the objects. Let's use the Object tool to mask the couch so we can remove it from the image. The Object Eraser tool will subtract objects from the existing mask. The Fill tool will automatically mask an area that is the same color, and the Fill Eraser will subtract the fill area from the existing mask. The Brush tool is useful for manually masking an area. In this example, if we want to remove the couch, we need to also remove the shadow of the couch on the floor. So let's use the Brush tool to mask over the shadow. The Eraser tool can be used to manually reduce the masked area, which can be useful for fixing mistakes. The Undo and Redo buttons can be used to undo or redo any changes. Use two fingers to move or zoom into the image for more accurate masking, especially with the Brush tool. Now that we have a satisfactory mask for the couch, click Next to proceed to the next step, and click Generate to generate images. If you notice an issue during image generation, you can always click the back button to go back and modify the mask. Let's go through another real example, painting cabinets with the Paint AI tool. After loading an image and selecting the Paint tool, we again need to mask the area of the image we would like to paint. For painting, we want the mask to be as accurate as possible. Let's start with the Cabinet Smart Mask. As we can see, this gives us a great starting point. Let's use the other tools to fix the areas that aren't perfect. Sometimes creating a good mask can take some time. So if you are frequently working with a specific image, the masks can be saved for use in the future. To save a mask, just click Save on the Save tool. To load a previously saved mask, choose it in the Load Mask tool and then click Apply Mask. Now that our mask correctly describes the areas we would like to paint, we can click next and continue to generate our images. Thanks for watching the masking tutorial. Masking is a crucial step to generating great AI results, so use the available tools to provide the best mask possible.